ES Audio. Hi, I'm Rochelle Travers, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, NASA says there's something weird going on with our universe. But first... High-risk, close contacts of monkeypox cases are being told to isolate for 21 days as the number of infections rise. Advice from the UK Health Security Agency says this applies to anyone who has had direct or household contact with a confirmed case. The disease first found in monkeys does not tend to spread easily between people but can be transmitted through close physical contact. Monkeypox is a rare viral infection, most common in remote parts of Central and West Africa. Symptoms include a high temperature, aches, and a rash of brain spots that later turn into blisters. It's considered typically mild and for most people will clear up within two to four weeks. At the time of recording this podcast, the UK has 20 cases confirmed so far, and more than 80 have been confirmed worldwide. Europe's first autonomous petrol station convenience store has been unveiled in Lisbon. From a shopper perspective, essentially, you have the Galp app. When you get to the store, you just uh, pass through a QR code to identify yourself. From that moment, you're a user and you have a credit card assigned. That's Vasco Portugal, the CEO of Sensei an autonomous technology provider who are behind this new project. Vasco has been telling us all about how it will work. We have a number of uh, visual sensors uh, in the ceiling that uh, run computer vision that is essentially capturing every the, or the entire customer journey of each customer. So it makes sure that the customer, when he takes a product out of the shelf, that same product goes to an individual group of baskets that is of, of his own. So between the things you pick and the things you drop, we are collecting and building a basket that is your own that we can charge once in the, in the moment that you leave the store. Vasco says that the idea came about essentially due to the co-founders hating having to queue to pay for something. I strongly believe that we are probably the last generation waiting in line to pay or, or to do anything from a time and convenience perspective, it makes absolutely no sense. From a business perspective, creating friction at payment, it makes also no sense. They say they'll be announcing more locations soon. Clearview AI has been ordered to delete all facial recognition data belonging to UK residents. The Information Commissioner's Office has also fined Clearview £7.5 million for failing to follow the UK's data protection laws. This is the fourth time the company has been ordered to delete national data in this way, following similar orders and fines from Australia, France and Italy. Clearview claims its facial recognition database contains some 20 billion images scraped from public sources like Facebook and Instagram. Google's DeepMind says it's on the verge of achieving human-level AI. Dr. Nando de Freitas, lead researcher at Google's DeepMind AI division, has said that the game is over after they unveiled an AI system capable of completing a wide range of complex tasks, from stacking blocks to writing poetry. Described as a generalist agent, DeepMind's new Gato AI needs to just be scaled up in order to create an AI allegedly capable of rivaling human intelligence. In a tweet, Dr. de Freitas said that following this achievement, it's all about scale now. NASA says that new Hubble Space Telescope data suggests something weird is going on with our universe. There's a key difference between the rate of the expansion of the universe, as it is around us, when compared with observations from right after the Big Bang. Scientists are unable to explain that discrepancy, but it suggests that there are strange goings-on that could be the result of unknown new physics. For the last 30 years, Hubble has been gathering information on a set of milestone markers in space and time that can be used to track the expansion rate of the universe as they move away from us. A decade-long study has found that multiple habitats need to be protected in order to save UK bumblebees. Researchers at the Bumblebee Conservation Trust, Karlsruhe Institute of Technology and the University of Edinburgh use data on bumblebee numbers collected by the public to provide the most detailed overview currently possible of what the insects need from a habitat. They suggest that reversing the loss of semi-natural areas could be the single most generally effective step in bumblebee conservation. Let's go to the ads. Stay there for more news from the world of tech and science. Plus, Professor Brian Cox responds to a US congressman's UFO concerns. Whilst you're here, why not give us a rate and follow? Welcome back. Greece has refuted a claim from the British Museum 
that the Parthenon marbles were removed from rubble. The long-standing dispute centers on claims from Greek authorities that the artifacts were violently detached from the temple with the aid of marble saws, whilst being overseen by Lord Elgin. The statement made at the UNESCO meeting last week added to the long-running row and came only days after it emerged that the UK was willing to discuss Greece's demand for the ancient carvings to be reunified with other treasures in Athens. And finally, Professor Brian Cox says the Earth could be the only place in the universe with life forms intelligent enough to form civilizations. When asked in an interview about US Congressman Andre Carson's comments that UFOs are a potential national security threat which need to be investigated, Professor Cox said it was one of the great mysteries whether intelligent alien life forms had found their way to Earth. He added that while microbial life forms could well be common, he believes that things like us may be extremely rare. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Leader Podcast, where we'll bring you the latest news, interviews and analysis from the Evening Standard here in London. We'll be back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.